Red Carpet Runaround Part 2. I might actually, yeah, I might genuinely make this part two because we've been going 23 minutes for that first bleeding level. Jeez. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Not easy on elite. It's not easy being elite. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, that was easy. I guess it is easy being elite. There we go. Fireball. Can uh, we get a fireball up in this joint? Yes, yes we can. You really need to make your shots more incendiary, little dragon. Things are not burning as well as they should. Can we get like a napalm upgrade for the dragon? Just so that it sticks and burns and destroys things and we all go a bit Vietnam on their asses. You there. Taste my fire! I don't know whether it's worth investing in an upgrade in his little collar thing, or harness, whatever it is. How much are, how much are the low, low level ones? I can't remember. I, I bought a couple of the moderate level ones for Maroka right back at the start, and then I've never been back to the vendor, so I can't. I think the top level ones were like 135,000 crowns, so I was just like, nah, no, no. That's. that's that's an inordinate price for what they're actually offering. I mean, I could buy one. I don't really have a lot better to buy with them, but... It's still quite a considerable chunk of money for a... Whatever it works out at, 5% cooldown increase on abilities that I don't remember to use very often. Having the cooldown increase is rather more reliant on you remembering to fire off the shots as soon as they're available every dang time. If you're not remembering to use them that often, maybe you don't need a cooldown. If, I, if I'm already firing off a shot once every four or five minutes, then what on earth would be the point in my getting 5% off the cooldown? Oh, I should, oh, I should not have dealt fi- no. oh, Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Don't- I really shouldn't deal damage to the other mobs until I've got the healer. Did I hit him? I think I hit him. The worst part is the fact that he just hangs around at the back of the pack, so I've got to blast my way through the pack just to... Oh, damn it! Die! That's got it, yes. I saw a pill in there, I saw a pill. They, yeah, I wish the healers wouldn't hang around at the back. I mean, obviously that's what healers do. They... <laughs> healers are not tanks, so they don't hang around up front. But still... The fact that you have to crash through an entire pack of enemies... Oh god, that's a dead end. Crash through an entire pack of enemies just to get to the healer. Is obnoxious at the best of times. Okay. Let's do some... Do some fire orbs. Set things on fire, please! Dragon! Okay, you... That, I'd have been better off with a fireball there, probably. You really need to stay in proper melee range for that one to work. Oh, good shot, sir! I do like it when lumbers hit their uh, their own their allies. They are they're beasts of very little brain. Uh, they are machines, so perhaps they are actually beasts of zero brain. Perhaps they're just running on I don't know clockwork. That would probably be the most likely option. Ooh, oh, oh! I thought it was a pill. I thought there was a pillar dropped. It's just hearts. Well, well, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. We're doing okay, we've got 34% health, which is a downside better than the 2% I spent most of the last level on. That, I suspect, won't last for too much longer here, though. And clear them all out. Yeah, got them all. So let's... I know everybody goes for the hard one first. Nuts to that. I don't like... I don't know why that's a good idea. I'd rather go for the easy option. I say easy, I'm probably going to die here now, but... Dragon, please do your thing. Good, good. Good, dragon, good. Come on. And there we go. Oh, and a heart. Beautiful creatures. And one more. Have you got a heart for me? Anybody got a heart? Anybody? You had nothing. Seriously? You stingy son of a gun. 
Right, okay. Fireballs! Did that get any of them? I don't know. These guys are moving fast. I don't like these guys. They move too fast. Can't kite them. Why are these guys moving faster than the other ones? Ah! Get away from me. Get away. Dragon. Oh, yes. Check that. Killed one. Set the other one aflame. That's how we like to do things around here. Anyone else? Yeah, you. Good. If you weren't attacking me with the others, that would have made matters problematic. Sword play! Boom! That's the only time I can use a sword, it's like finishing blow. Okay. So what I like to do with Maroka here is run in and pop one of the old cat cat heart do that thingy magic is there because it just gets everything in the room, but I can't do that. This should be, oh man, this should just be an AoE thing that just sets everything in the area on fire. Given that we can now get the fire barrier out of pills, would it be not would it be worth replacing the dragon's barrier with like an AoE effect? I don't know. That's something I would like to see, just go boom and just create an actual sort of, like a ring of fire on the floor. It was actually what I thought it sounded like when it... Actually, is that a thing we do? I have no idea. I, do, I don't know dragons. I'm, and now I'm thinking, is that a thing it actually does? Is that their third ability? It might be. If they have that, I will be using that judiciously. And I really need to level up my pet some more, clearly. But, yeah, I would like to see just throw down a ring of fire on the floor and everything that walks into it just goes, Wah, I'm on fire! I would kite so many jellies through that. But, yeah, like I say, I'm not... That might, I'm, I'm now whining that the second ability isn't that, but now I'm thinking the third ability might be that, so... I don't know. I'm sure I'll get a million people with high-level Dracons in the comments now saying, Yes, of course it is. How could you be so stupid? Because I don't own a Dracon. I'm a cat man. I should say I'm a cat lover. All oh, these silly dragon nonsense. I'm sorry, Ryujin. I love you, Ryujin. You were the guardian of the seas and stuff. Okay, you, you, your ability's on cooldown. It's I do need to get. I I use his ability often enough that maybe I, maybe collars or harnesses, whatever the whatever the heck they are, might be a worthwhile investment here. You wanna come towards that? Yep. Boom. Ha, gotcha. Stupid jellies. They so stupid. They ain't even got a brain. They just got a core. Core for brains. <laughs> ah, core for brains. I don't know why that amuses me so much. <laughs> cool, okay, so which is the second least difficult? I'm really not sure whether I want that loot room. I think this is probably it. The first bit's more difficult because there's less room to kite, but... It's not aggro the turrets and you. Come over here. Yeah, there we go, we can aggro them one at a time instead of all together. That's fine, I can deal with that. That's fine. Okay, next one. Okay, you're aggroed, but... Okay, that's both of them. Crud. Didn't mean to do that. Fire! Did that? Oh, I got one of them. Ow! Oh! Oh, dude, he burned up just as he was lunging. That was brilliant. Burned up on re-entry. Icon. Ooh, I've got fireballs throw. Yep, let's do that. I'm not dead yet. Why are you not dead? How much health does this one have? This one's got a lot of health. There we go. Oh, jeez, they do have a fair bit of health. My god. Okay, let's go sword style on your ass. And down. Yeah, now this next room's a bit easy because you've got a bit of room to kite things, so like, hi guys, and then run away. Anyone coming through? Anyone coming to fight? Hello? Hello? Can the lumber get through that? I'm not sure if the lumber can. I don't think he can. No. Good. 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 So I can separate the jellies. That's okay. Okay. Ow! 
I really need a better shield. Three star is not good enough. Three star is a terrible, terrible shield. Hi. Um, don't know how to deal with you, really. Could shoot you over there, or jellies can come through. Yeah, that could work as well. Yeah, shield that breaks when two jellies hit it simultaneously is not the defense I want. Oh, no, don't want to break that. That will let lumbers through. Fireball! Why can't you just set on fire? That would be so much nicer. Jelly! Come on, come on, core for brains. Does that thing even have a core? I don't think it even has a core. It's got nothing for brains. Got mush for brains. Oh, it does have a core. There it goes. You can't see it when it's inside the jelly. It's not like a lichen. Lichens, you can count the cores. That's how That's how you know how old they are, by counting the cores on the lichens. And I think, I think the oldest lichen has been dated at somewhere around 2,000 years old. It has a lot of spikes. It's very spiky, that one. Ah! Fireball. Oh, you're nearly dead. You didn't have much health. That's okay. I approve of low health turrets. Okay. So let's... Hi. Hi. So if you all want to come through here, we'll all have a little bit of a party down here. Jellies, jellies only. This is an exclusive jelly only event. Where I'm going to set you all on fire. And then kill you. And eat your cores. Mmm, delicious cores. It's a little bit like eating monkey brains, except it's jelly cores. So to cut the top off and have to scoop it out with a spoon. Okay, uh, jelly. Hi, jelly. You jelly? Jelly. Oh, man. Yeah, there he goes. Come on. Come on, over here. Come on, jelly. Jelly. Come on. Can you not get through for these other lun big lunks? Oh, Ooh, see? The stun resistance. I think that makes good on that. That means he didn't break my shield. Okay. I don't, oh man, I don't know how to get past these healers. Healers are a problem. I suppose I could... Yes, I could lure them out by shooting... Oh god. Shooting things. And then shoot the healers. If the lumber wasn't in my way... Turret. Do you guys want to go heal the turret? And then I'll shoot you while you're healing the turret. Okay, everything's through. Oh god, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. It's not good. Uh, fireball! Fireball! Are they on fire? Don't know, but... I want to... <laughs> Too many healers. Why would there be so many healers? Not fair! Okay, and job done. Okay, and you... You see how... Just... I can't kill things quickly with this gear. It's all a matter of massive, massive caution. And the problem with the Jelly King fight is it's just a damage race. He's being healed, so you need to out-damage his healing, or be very, very, very good about stopping him being healed, which is incredibly difficult just by the sheer number of healers. It's literally just a damage race battle. And I don't think I've got the damage to do that. It's going to be incredibly difficult. Oh, man. This sucks. Right. And now the turrets. It's... Ow! Jeez. I didn't think he was shooting. Damn it. Can't. Yeah, stop him shooting me. There we go. And now I can move on to the. Uh, wait, what? The harder rooms? Oh no. I can move on to the harder rooms with 3% health. Hooray! Now I think this room is marginally easier. I genuinely don't think we're going to get all four rooms. I'm going to have to. 
skip out on the loot. This ain't gonna happen. There's too many jellies spawn here. This ain't gonna happen. And there we go! Woo! Okay. So let's see what we can do. Kill things quick. And then hope the spikes disappear. Oh, they're not quite fast enough. Let's try and... Okay. We've thinned the herd. We've got rid of the worst of them. And if I can keep most of these dead, I obviously only have to deal with two of them. Oh, man. Could this turn into a three-part episode? That's not entirely unlikely, it seems. Okay, fireball in the crowd. How many are you going to set on fire? Two. Okay, I killed one of the respawning little blighters. Killed both of the respawning little blighters. The rest of them not... Was it, that, was it those two that set on fire or something? Why? Will they not all die? Which, which one do I need to kill? Not that one. That one? This is like a sp very specific two that... Okay. So... Those guys aren't too tough. The green ones are pretty weak, guys. Pretty weak source. Yeah, see? Even I can kill them with two sword hits. And, okay, let's bring the big guy out. Shoot him up a bit. Hi there. Do you want to get dragoned? Yes, yes, you do. Oh, there's Ah, you got one more here? Okay, sure. Why not? More the merrier. There's, there's room for all of you to die. Okay, and... Really? We got... Oh, we got, we got him out on his own. Cool. Ow! Son of a gun. There really needs to be a timer on those respawns. They literally respawn immediately. I mean, I know it's, it's, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. I mean, most players, it's really not going to affect, but... Seriously, just... Just having those mini jellies not pop up immediately every time you kill them. Just be a little bit nicer, you know? If I kill him well, immediately, split second, right back up that moment. Ow, god damn. There's a fire in the joints. Fire in the hole! And you're dead, sir. Green guys. Man, they are weak. There we go. Oh, hi, one more. They do not take much killing. Right, last, last lot. Well, actually, it's not. There's another lumber. Is it a lumber? Is it just a lumber? Or does jellies appear? I can't remember. It's definitely a lumber appears. Can't remember if anything else does. I'm not gonna hit that switch until it's dead. Ow! Jeez, that's got some range on it. Uh, mate, do I need to use a pill? I really do need to use a pill, but. Oh god, that's the wrong guys to kill, obviously. Don't want a sword. Ah, I hate this level. I really do I really don't like Jelly King. I don't guess it'll get white. <clears throat> Everybody's such a big fan of Jelly King. Snarbalax is fun. Raw Mills Twins is fun. Vanaduke to an extent is fun. A little bit overplayed at this stage, but fun. Jelly King, no. I really don't like this level. <laughs> It's... it's not great. Come on, let me... Ah, oh, spikes! Who thought they were a good idea? Why would you put spikes there, honestly? And again. Seriously? Spikes, go away. Thank you. Okay, 16% health, 3 bars, and... One more room of things to fill.